Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Flectish channel. Steam engines played a pivotal role in the Industrial Revolution, playing a revolutionary role in transforming transportation and bringing a new era of mobility. engines were invented in the 17th century and were later perfected by James Watt in the 18th century. At outdoor events like steam rallies, steam-powered vehicles like steam rollers and tractors from Burrell or Case are exhibited and demonstrated. In such events, processes like engine fire-ups are presented, and people can observe how it was made in the past. Traction engines are a prominent feature of steam rallies, often preserved and restored by enthusiasts. These vehicles replaced horse-drawn carriages and wagons enabling faster, more efficient, and heavier loaded transportation over longer distances. A Burrell crane engine had a self-propelled design used for heavy lift machinery, not to forget their role in the logging and wood industry. You've got a regulator, so you just sort of you're throttling the car, so uh, that controls the amount of steam that goes into the cylinder. Uh, like I say, the more like a, more like your throttle. A reversing lever, so that controls the direction, and then you've got a few gears uh, which you can select onto your right, um, and then you've got a big big wheel for the brake as well. Quite important that one. Case steam-powered agricultural vehicles marked a turning point in the history of farming practices during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Steam-powered tractors made it possible to farm the vast prairies of the Midwest, which were previously too difficult to cultivate with horse-drawn plows. Tractors, like the 110 HP case, typically have a hitch or attachment point for various farming implements, with the plow being a fundamental one. As the tractor moves forward, the rotating blades of the plow cut through the earth, turning and loosening the soil for planting. Proper alignment is crucial to ensure that the plow cuts through the soil effectively, whether it's for breaking new ground 
or preparing an already cultivated field. One of the most essential uses of steam tractors in agriculture was to power threshing machines used to separate the grain from the straw. The plow attachments made it possible to cultivate large areas of land more efficiently and to transport crops to market more quickly and cheaply. The Sentinel DG4 Wagon was a steam-powered traction engine produced by Sentinel Wagon Works of Shrewsbury. This Sentinel is a, 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 what they call a Sentinel DG4, which is a, uh, what they call a double, double geared four-wheel field Sentinel. It was built in 1931 and uh, built here in Shrewsbury at the Sentinel Wagon Works. These vehicles were powered by a vertical compound steam engine located at the rear of the bus and drove the rear wheels through a chain drive. The day-to-day -day maintenance is obviously lubricating and all the different various parts. You've got the crankcase and you've got the cylinder oil, uh, which is a total loss system being a steam engine. Uh, so then also we, we have with the but keeping the coal together in the bunker and things like that, water in the boiler. So, uh, yeah, there's always something to be doing with a Sentinel. Their safety valve and blow-off valve served complementary purposes in maintaining optimal steam pressure within the boiler. The boiler was located at the front of the bus, constructed from high-quality steel plates, carefully shaped and welded to form a cylindrical outer drum. High-quality steam engine oil is specifically designed to withstand the high temperatures and pressures encountered in steam-powered machinery. Steam tractors work by converting the heat energy and in steam into mechanical energy powering machines like threshing mills. Steam tractors typically have two or three cylinders arranged in a line or a V shape. The cylinders are connected to the crankshaft by a system of gears and rods. After firing the firebox in vehicles like the Lombard steam log hauler, the driver opens the throttle valve to allow steam to flow into the cylinders. The driver then engages the clutch to connect the engine to the wheels.
It is possible to control the speed of the tractor by adjusting the throttle valve. The driver can also shift gears to change the speed and torque of the engine. Steam-powered machines can teach us about the history of technology, science, and engineering. They can also help us to understand the principles of mechanics and thermodynamics. Enthusiasts play a vital role in the preservation of steam-powered machines, helping to ensure that this critical part of our technological heritage is preserved for future generations. That's the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.